Hello, 16th of June. It is half seven at night. I have come down after work to do some bits and bobs and I'll show you that in a bit. The weather, the weather. We had a really dry May, didn't we? Gales, frost, June, start of June, poured down, freezing cold, and now we've got the mist rolling in. It's been, it's been a mix. Ready for summer though? Right, this week uh, I've been earthing up some potatoes and I will show you an update, courgette, pumpkin, squash, etc. Let's get on with it. So let's start with the first and second early potatoes. These first earlies I planted at the end of March and the second earlies, the big ones you can see behind me, planted at the start of April. I earthed them both up at the start of May. Mid-May, the last frost of the season, hit these first earlies quite hard. Shriveled the leaves. Seven out of 10 of them are showing again. I'm not sure about the other three. The, the second alleys behind me, they were hit slightly, but they've, they've come back, they've come back. Flowers are starting to show on them, so I'm gonna give them one last earthing up, protect any potatoes that are forming from the sunlight. And these both should be ready, maybe a month's time. Right, time to earth up my main crop of potatoes. Planted at the end of April, so about a month and a half ago. They're coming along nicely. The trouble I'll have here, same as with my second earlies that I've just earthed up, the amount of actual earth I've got to earth them up, but I'll do as much as I can. While I'm here, we might as well admire my beetroot that's coming along nicely and my nice row of onions. Right, let's get them potatoes earthed up. Right, that's them all earthed up. Most of the spare soil I had was on this side, so I had to transfer some across there, but I, I think I've added about a foot to the soil level, so hopefully that's a, a foot extra of uh, potatoes. Ready, August, September time. All right, let's have a quick update on the pumpkin, squash, and courgette. First of all, the squash. The ones I planted in the wild flower bed, they seem to be doing all right at first, but they don't look so good now, turning a bit yellow. I'll give them an extra bit of feed. Hopefully they'll pick up. Whereas the ones here, um, exposed to the elements, are doing fine. He's okay, that one's all right. This one looks particularly good. Now, all right, I did plant five and there's only three left. But if you remember, it was a very windy period of time, very dry May. 
and then we had some more gales and then it's been a very wet June so far but they are doing okay courgettes I did build this um, structure temp temporary structure but it stayed a little bit of a windbreak because like I say we had gales when I planted these out but um, they're looking good they're looking good especially we've got one over here and there is a little there is a little courgette growing there in this case I had 14 planted some have since departed we've got one two three four five six seven eight possibly nine left but I'm, I'm quite pleased with them I'm quite pleased with them they're big enough now to survive bearing in mind the weather should pick up from what it is at the minute right the pumpkins planted out the same time as the squash and cores yet I did have 11 I've now got 10 so we've lost one which isn't bad going now most of them look a bit like this maybe the leaves aren't that big at the minute but some have got flowers this one over here lovely flowers there they're all sort of crawling along the ground growing leaves as they go so a bit of a mixed bag but they should be okay right this is my first set of onions that i planted um just found some bulbs in the shed didn't know how long they've been there so these are these are a bonus this is my bonus crop some of them are getting nice and big few have gone to seed already this one started to go to seed so i'm gonna have that one uh, i think i'll treat these keep them keep them going for a bit longer but if any go to seed they come up and i'll just eat them one by one dig dave dig 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 the carrots are coming along nicely. It's nice when you can see them from more than two feet away. It shows they're getting bigger. Never really grown carrots before, so I have no idea when they'll be ready, but um, soon. Last update of any note this week, apples. I've got a tree full of them. I must have done something right with a prune in there. Be a few months before they're ready, but no, I am well pleased with that. Apples ahoy. Right, that's it for this week. Thank you ever so much for watching. Click subscribe if you like, send me a comment. Next week, we will be putting the leeks in here. This bed that has been a disaster for the past six months but it's getting better and better so that's something to look forward to isn't it catch you next time